Hello there. So today we're going to work with some cool text tricks that, uh, that are pretty easy to do, but as you can see, they look pretty sharp. So let's get started. So first, we're just going to pick our text. I'm using um, Arial Rounded MT Bold. Uh, it's it's a, just a simple round bold font. So let's get started. Text tricks. Perfect. All right, and resize. All right, terrific. All right, so now what you want to do, the first thing when you want to add a text is create it to an outline. So then everything is editable. So now we're going to create our transparency to go over it. And to do that, we have to draw a shape that covers pretty much the entire text. And then using our arc tool, get a line and draw it across. And um, this will split the box for our transparency. So we're going to objects, path, and divide objects below. All right. And then you can do this with any shape you want, however you want the transparency to work. I just like the uh, rounded look. So then bring this over and then resize accordingly. Just stretch out, make sure it's covering everything you'd want to be uh, like a gloss finish to it. Perfect. All right, so now actually you're gonna select both of these and then copy and paste. And then you can just get rid of this one. So at the bottom one, we're actually going to use a cookie cutter cutout method. And I'll show you how to do that here. Go to Window and Pathfinder. And now with both of those selected, you can hit the Crop button here. And there you go. Now there's still going to be a few artifacts in there. So what you want to do is double click it so we can edit it. As you can see, this box here. Yeah, we, we don't need that. So we're going to delete that. And inside some of the filled letters, there will be some, like the E, as you can see right here. So we can just select that and then get rid of it. And then also under the C, I believe. Yes, we can get rid of that. That should be it. All right, great. So now we can go back to the main stage. And now you have your cookie cutter cut out. Good stuff. All right. So now we're going to do a gradient. Do negative 90 degrees. And then bring it over. And probably don't see it now. Make sure um, you go to Object, Arrange, and bring to Front. That way we can uh, we can see it. So now you want to change it to probably probably a white gradient would be your best bet. You can do any color you want, but I'm gonna do white. There we go. All right, great. It's actually backwards. I want the brighter on top. So let's just flip these around real quick. So our gradient drags. There we go. Perfect. All right. So now I'm going to mess around with the opacity probably. So let's go to our transparency. There we go. 25%. Perfect. All right. And then let's do 25% for opacity as well. Awesome. So now we have a pretty good looking gradient there. All right, so now what we're going to work on is the outline. So select just the text, not the uh, not the gradient, and go to Object, Path, and Offset Path. And then I'm going to do 5 pixels, uh, meter. Perfect. All right, now with that selected, you're going to choose a color, and that will change just the outline. I'm just going to do a light blue, so it looks pretty good. All right, so you can see we have a pretty modern-looking text thing going on. But what we're going to do now is group it, so that way we can move it independently and not have a bunch of parts flying around. All right, so great. So now we're gonna work on some special effects. So let's copy and paste. And what we're gonna do now is actually work on a shadow. So let's reflect it horizontal. Okay, perfect. All right, and let's put this under as a shadow would probably do. All right, now double click on it and we're actually gonna get rid of everything except the blue outlines in the back as this will be our outline for the shadow. There we go. All right, great. All right, and then you can change the color to whatever you want, black probably, It'll be good shadow color. All right, terrific. All right, actually for the shadow, we're gonna do a gradient. So let's do a negative 90 gradient and 
probably all black gradient, and then we can just adjust the opacity here. Chance one. Great. So now we have uh, a fading shadow, which is a little more realistic, actually, and it looks nicer. All right. So now, as you can see, it looks like a shadow, but we have to actually shear the uh, shape. So go to Object, Transform, and hit Shear. All right. We're going to do 20 degree angle horizontal, and this will give the shadow more, more uh, like a look, like a shadow, pretty much. So. All right, great. So let's shrink that up a little bit, make it look like it's on a surface. There we go. Just the opacity. Perfect. So now it looks awesome. Good stuff. You can do logos like this. You can do website names. You can do anything like this. So it's, it works out well. So actually, let's work with another one. We're going to do uh, this one's easy. Just the shiny gloss uh, reflection. So same, pretty much the exact same thing as the shadow, except just adjusting the opacity. So it looks like it's reflecting off of the floor or some sign of a shiny surface. Oh yeah, terrific. So there it is right there, pretty much. That's, that's pretty much it. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Uh, just some cool text tricks you can use for all your design needs for logos, websites, you name it. So. Thanks for watching and we'll be back soon. Thanks.